Can you believe that we have Ezekiel Elliott at 10 and ESPN has him at 20 and Fantasy Pros has him at 16 <laughs> and his ADP is in the end of, towards the end of the third round at pick 30. He's going in the middle of the third round. That's ridiculous. We, we have Aaron, we have Zeke at 10. I, I don't understand this. Everybody's out on Zeke. It, was it because he was terrible last year? Because he was RB6. He was hurt the whole year. We're probably still too low on him at 10. Maybe. But we're way the frick higher than everybody else. Since like 2018, he was RB5. 2019, he was RB4. 2020, he was RB11. Last year, RB6. And he's going as like the 15th plus running back. Like Jerry Jones has already come out saying, we're giving the ball to Zeke. They're paying him a ton of money. I don't get this at all. I, I don't I don't get why he's going so late. Yeah, I, I don't really have a whole lot to add. I mean, it's just people are wrong. People are down because of last season. Uh, and they're all going to pay because he still performed when he had like one and a half knees for <laughs> yeah, two like thirds he was hurt. of the season. He had, he had the seventh most carries last year. Yeah, on one and a half knees. So yeah, and and they you know Amari Cooper's gone, like they're going to still have a very good high scoring offense, and he should get even more goal line opportunities. I just he had the ninth most catches last year and seventh most carries, and he's currently going as as running back fifteen or higher in almost every draft. That's stupid. Yeah, and last year it was like a whole clarity issue with the offense it's like oh my god there's so many mouths to feed how on earth are we going to feed all these mouths in this offense yeah you have Gallup and Cedric Wilson and what Cedric Wilson's gone Gallup has already said he's not going to be healthy to start the season so you're down to Dalton Schultz CD Lamb and Zeke Amari's gone like it's going to be much clearly much more clearly defined roles Zeke's going to be a beast I'm yeah, not and, even remotely worried. And we'd be remiss to not mention the fact that, yeah, of course, Tony Pollard's there. And you're like, well, Tony Pollard's a better running back than Zeke. And yeah, he might be. He's not. But but they're not going to give him more touches than Zeke. And Pollard was, you know, what, he was running back 26 last year? Like, come on, get it. Like, there's no world that, like, the only way that this happens is if Zeke gets hurt and he doesn't get hurt. He's only missed more than two games in a season once, and that was in 2017. Like he's he's a beast, and he he's going way too late. Yeah, I agree. 